Hello, <laughs> thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am or if you've never seen my videos before, um, my name is Elizabeth and I like to post all kinds of different videos. Travel, food, funny things, so there's lots to check out so make sure you do if you like this video especially um, and maybe even subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I got a lot of stuff going on over there too so my nose is itchy. Anywho, so thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're gonna make a fun recipe. We're gonna make a delicious snickerdoodle cookie which will be perfect to bring to holiday parties and friends. It's a good, you know, holiday gift even. So you can wrap it up in a little cute box with a bow and then they're a little moist. I know some people don't like that word, but they are. They're moist, little fluffy balls of heaven goodness. So you're gonna wanna stay tuned for that. If you're interested in eating little balls of heaven, then keep watching. <laughs> So you're still here, great sign. Today we're gonna make snickerdoodle cookies and I got this recipe from another YouTuber whose name you probably know, her name's Kristen Johns and she has a company called Kristen Made and she makes these um, amazing recipes on there but she has this one that really uh, is my favorite out of all of them and it's the snickerdoodle cookie recipe. So we're gonna make that one today, um, so. It's gonna be lit. And then I also wanted to tell you about my sweater today. I got this sweater from a clothing company called Liam and Ian, and it's the Dream Big Blush Sweater. And it's really comfy. I like that it's like kind of like oversized, so you can wear it with jeans or whatever, or you can wear it with leggings and like knee high boots. That'd be cute. Um, you can do this, you can do a little French tuck, whatever. Um, it's got this nice detailing, I don't know what you call this, is this like waffling? Don't know. And then it also has little puffy sleeves, so you can walk around like this. <laughs> or you can be a normal purse, either one. Um, and yeah, and then, oh, another thing. Cutie little purse, the leopard print. You can do a little cross body action the strap which is really handy dandy so you got options and it's nice and uh, big enough for all your little trinkets and things and doodads and the faucets we love it we love a good purse and we love a good sweater Liam and Ian was nice enough to give me a discount code for all of you guys to use so you'll get 20% off of your order which is amazing And then um, with the holidays, they're having a bunch of sales over there, so you really can't go wrong, right? I mean, come on. So, so yeah, so make sure you check out Liam and Ian. I put all the info uh, in the description box, so you can find the link to the sweater and the link to the leopard purse. And um, yeah, so we love a good sweater, don't we? All right, so let's get into the cookie. So you'll need one cup of butter, two and three fourths cups of flour, and then a cup and a half of sugar, one teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of salt. You also need a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two eggs, and then the coating for the snickerdoodles you'll need three, hi, three tablespoons of sugar and then one tablespoon of cinnamon, which I have in here already. And then we're going to cream the butter and uh, sugar mixture. So we'll do that in this bowl over here. Oh, and don't forget, we gotta preheat the oven to 375. Boop, you can't see that, so. Okay, so we got our little mixer ready. We're gonna put in the butter. So, 
<clears throat> one cup of butter, so what's this? Mm. I'm just gonna put it in this whole thing. <laughs> I don't understand the people that have just flat out eaten sticks of butter. Okay, so anyway, so we're gonna put in the sugar. So here's the sugar and butter mixture. Now we're going to add in the eggs. So we got one egg. And two eggs. Okay, not my best cracking. And then add the vanilla, which is my favorite. I love vanilla. Okay, so open up your vanilla extract. It smells good, smell it. And then, um, see I don't have a uh, measuring spoon, so I'm gonna take a half, one, two. And I like so now you added in the eggs and the vanilla and mix it all up. Then you're just gonna keep making sure it's all goody, good, and ready to go. And then we'll add in the flour from this way. It kinda looks like scrambled eggs, but. Add in our flour. Add in the three-fourths of the flour. Okay, so now we have the flour, salt, baking soda, vanilla, eggs, everything's all mixed together in here now. And now they just need to be rolled up in their little balls and thrown around in the cinnamon mixture and then put in the oven and then they'll be ready to eat. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and start rolling them balls, shall we? So for this recipe for these cookies, I recommend you use parchment paper for your um, cookie tray, but I don't have any. So um, instead, just non-stick spray all over the pan, like a nice thick coat. So make sure you do that. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to get my hands wet so that they're less likely to kind of stick all over the dough. So first get your hands nice and wet. Okay, so now we're ready. So take, you know, like a pinch, pinch of the dough, roll it up in your hands. I like to pretend I'm making meatballs. So do it like that, toss it around. Get a nice little coat of the cinnamon. I want it coated. And then put it right on the cheek. And then just keep doing that until you don't got any dough left.
Okay, so we have our first batch all rolled up and I still have all of this dough left. So as you can see, it makes a lot. And so now we're just gonna pop them in the oven for seven to eight minutes, super fast. A few moments later. Okay, well, good news is they taste great. Bad news is they look like this. Um, and that hasn't happened to me before since I've made these. Um, so I'm not really sure what happened. Um, I'm gonna try making them a little smaller this time. There's a chance I might have added too much butter and that might be what's happening here, but um, they look better than the other ones, so um, that's good. So, okay, we're gonna take them out, put them out, and then have them cool. And then we'll add the next batch because I, ha I still have these ones and uh, I can split them in half and make them into two, so have even more, so it's great. So we had a few fails, and normally they come out a little bit fluffier than this today, but all in all, I think they came out pretty nice. And like I said, the perfect little treat to bring to your holiday parties this season. So if you give it a try, let me know in the comments. And thank you to Kristen Maid for putting this recipe up because it's one of my faves, so. Alright, well thank you so much for watching and uh, tune in next time for another fun video. Alright, I'm gonna go eat these now. Mm. Hopefully they'll be enough for the part time. Mm. Mm. Okay, bye. <laughs>